Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Riley, and can you see what I got here in the mail today? Maybe not, because the camera's not positioned very well. Magpul MOE 1911 grip panels. Pretty sweet. I don't know if you've seen my 1911 review already. If you haven't, I'll leave the description in the the link in the description and uh, let's go ahead and check these out we'll uh, take these out these are like 20 bucks on Amazon or wherever you buy your gun stuff so these are the Magpul MOE 1911 grip panels with TSP texture so let's go ahead and look at this um, let's, can you see that texturing yeah I'm sure you can it's kind of like almost like the skateboard tape and the texturing looks pretty cool good on here very thin as you can see these are very thin panels um, and it's got reinforced backing on here so obviously they won't break under pressure or whatever and then on for the right hand thumb there's a little slot there to, so you can easily hit the magazine release with your thumb like I said the texturing on here see that it's pretty pretty good uh, for wet environments if it's raining snowing if you have oil or sweat on your hands blood whatever this texturing is pretty good and it will allow you to grip your gun even when it's wet so if I can compare that to something let me show you my other pistol here, hold on one second, my camera's doing something kind of funky. Uh, if you can see, this is my uh, Springfield Armory's 1911A1. And if you look here, it's just got the original grip design. You know, what you would think would come with the 1911, the original kind of diamond squares. So this is, looks a lot different from that, as you can see. Um, so that's pretty cool but I want to put these on and see how these uh, Magpul MOE grips are on a 1911 so I'm not actually going to put them on my Springfield 1911 I'm going to put them on my 22 chambered and or my 1911 chambered in 22 um, if you've been with my channel for a long time you know this is a gun that I've had um, sorry if you can barely hear me, this stupid washing machine is going in the background. Seems like every time I record a video, there's something loud going on. Anyways, if you've been with my channel for a while, you know this is a gun that I reviewed right when I started the channel. So I'll have the link to that if you haven't checked it out already. So I'm going to put the grips on here. Just going to get a screwdriver and undo these. Actually, I can do them by hand because they're so... They're not on there very tight. I already took the grip off these, so... Anyways, it's super easy to put, uh, take the grip off of a 1911. All you have to do is take the two screws off, and then usually the grips pop right off. Um, so, and then you can put the new grip panels right there. Now, see, I think these look good with this kind of 1911. They fit the bill just right. And then we're going to tighten those. I don't know why I have a super long screwdriver. It's like hard to... Anyways. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing well. Um, I hope... If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, go ahead and subscribe to it. And go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. If you've been with me for a while, you know I do one new video a week. Lately, I have been doing two or three videos a week. Um, but depending on how this next semester goes with school, I might do more or less. Uh, for those of you that don't know, um, I'm about to get my bachelor's degree. And I'm a, uh, I only have one semester left until I get my bachelor's degree. And the degree I'm actually getting is in Management Information Systems. It's kind of like an IT related. It's like IT and business mixed together. So 
I'm getting my bachelor's degree in December of 2018. I don't know when this video is being posted, so... Um, yeah, that's what's going on with me, so... That's all, the, it all depends on how many... I'm just making sure these are tight. It all depends on how many, you know, hours a week I'm working and going to school. That all, and that will depend on, that will determine how many videos a week I make. So look at that. That looks pretty cool. And it's got that cool thumb slot. Um, like, let's compare those two real quick. I think, I don't know which one I like better, but I'm going to put the other side on. So, yeah guys, like I said, if I could, I would do one new video every day. Um, and those, hopefully, if you're watching this, you've already seen my motorcycle videos. So I'm starting to do motorcycle vlogs, um, which is just riding around and me talking. Uh, nothing like super interesting. Any <laughs> Anyways, I'm doing these motorcycle vlogs, and I got a KLR650, it's a Kawasaki bike. Oh, hold on. I just dropped a screw on the ground. Okay, so I got a KLR650, so I'm starting to do these motorcycle trip vlogs and stuff like that. And I'm actually taking it off-road a lot, so... If you're into motorcycles, if you're into off-roading, then you might want to check out those videos because they might be kind of interesting to you. And let me know in the comments section, do you guys have, have you ever ridden a KLR650? Do you like it? Because I like mine a lot. And I, have a, I did a review about it. I'm just tightening these bolts down. I reviewed the KLR650, and like I said, I'm doing motorcycle vlogs, so I think it's a cool bike. It's a cool, cool uh, on-off-road bike. Okay, so those are tight. Let me just go over the back. Um, oh, yeah, and so this gun that I'm working on right here, it's the GSG German Sports Guns 1911 chambered in 22 long rifle. It is a cool gun, um, and I really like it. I shoot it a lot, actually. I probably this pro this gun probably has more rounds than any of the other guns I've ever shot through it. So, and it's just a twenty-two. So there you guys go. Um, that's how the grips look on the nineteen eleven with the Magpul MOE grips. I think it looks pretty cool, and the gun is already kind of black, so this black grips kind of match. Got the cool thumb thumb slot right there, so you can easily, when you're holding the gun, you can easily reach over, hit the mag release easily. And these are quite thin. These grips are quite thin, so it, if you have huge hands, then it might not help to kit your case. Um, so, yeah, just be be warned that this the, the grips are kind of thin, but I think they look good on this 1911. And, yeah, and they add great texture to the gun. I think they definitely do that. So, uh, thanks for watching this video, guys. Please give it a thumbs up, and please subscribe to my channel for more content.